Her family sues the government for nearly $300 million after a tragic accident leaves a woman dead. The activist from Uganda was calling Denver her home when she died. She and her husband were visiting Arches National Park in Utah earlier this summer. She was killed while leaving. Jeff Todd looking into this for us tonight. He joins us from the federal courthouse in Denver. And Jeff, this was a very special woman. Essie Nakajigo was a superstar in Africa and Europe. She had raised tens of millions of dollars for philanthropic efforts that really helped people's lives. She had come to Colorado to continue to study and learn more. Her life taken too soon. Uh, the woman I loved, and uh, so I, I saw her for just. Her. When Ludo Mishaw first met the woman that would become his wife, he didn't know she was famous around the world. Uganda's ambassador for women and girls. Essie Nakajigo had a reality show watched by millions centered around improving conditions for women in Uganda. That was one of countless efforts she had to improve other people's lives. She changed me and uh, losing her changed me as well and we didn't deserve that. In June, the newlyweds took a trip from Colorado to Arches National Park. Upon leaving, an unsecured metal gate swung into their lane of traffic. The end of the gate impaled the car like a lance and literally beheaded his newlywed bride right in front of him. I'm still trying to figure out like how to move forward, how to wake up in the morning. Ludo and Essie's family have filed a claim for $270 million against the U.S. government, arguing a simple, cheap lock would have saved her life. How do you measure someone like her? She's done more at the age of 25 than most people do in their entire lives. The family is hoping to use any money awarded in this case to continue her legacy. We need to keep pushing those projects forward and to make sure uh, all this continues. We're told that these gates are installed at national parks and on national forest land across the country. One reason that a potential lawsuit could be filed here in federal court is to try and get those gates either secured or replaced entirely. We're live in Denver tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first.